Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to go through some of the sum functions that you get in Calc. So on the screen, I've got some examples of what I'm going to cover. I'm going to look at the basic sum, sum if, sum ifs, sum product, and sum square. So first of all, sum, straightforward enough. If you want to add up a list, you just get to the bottom of the list and either click on the sum function icon or you do the key command which is alt equals. I'm going to do alt equals, which will grab this list, D2 to D12. I'm going to tick that, and that will give me the sum for that list. Just widen the column there. Now, if I do that there, if I go alt equals, it doesn't pick anything up. Well, it does, but not what I want. So I need to highlight this. D2 to D12, yep, tick. And there's the answer, same as that one. Now, sum if adds up a list, but with a qualifier. And the qualifier I'm going to use is one of these words. I only want to add up if it says one of these words. So it's equals sum if, open the bracket. So it's asking you for the range to look down first. So this is item. So I'm looking down item, comma, for the word at. You have to put that in quotes. And when I find it, comma, I want to add up the price, like so. Close the bracket, click the tick. 465, so there's one part there and another one there. Hold my control key down, down the bottom here. 465. So that was sum if we have one criteria, but sum ifs gives you the option for multiple criteria. Slightly different syntax, but let's have a look. Equals sum ifs. Open the bracket. You're selecting the range first. Sum range first. So I'm highlighting this list. Then I'm doing a comma. Now it wants the first criteria. So the first criteria range is going to be this list. And I'm going to do a comma and then pick what I want. So I want north. Again, it has to go in quotes. North, comma. So that now moves on to the next criteria, which is going to be item. So I highlight the item list. And I want at. So comma, open quotes, at. So all I want, so it's got multiple criteria. Closing the bracket, clicking the tick, comes up with a figure, back into pounds, 465. Same as that. Next one, some product. This will basically multiply each one of these and tell me what the total answer is. And I've left this column blank so I can show you how it works. So it's equals sum product. So it's asking you to select the data. Array one is the quantity column, comma, and then the price column, like so. Close the bracket, click the tick. Gives you the figure, put it to pounds. Now I need to test that figure because obviously this says 3000, so that can't, that's not right. What it is is this equals quantity times price all the way down and then adding those up. So if I just pull that down, I don't need the bottom one. I do need the bottom one. So if I do alt equals, it's highlighting that column and then ticking that 7354, 7354. So that's what it's doing. It's negating the need for you to do that extra column there. You can just come up with the, the total figure. Now, sum square is this one equals sum SQ open bracket. I'll just click on one cell for now, two, and then tick that. Tells me that's four. But what you can do is this equals sum SQ, open the bracket, click on the first one. I'll click on two, 
do a comma and click on three. So square root of three is nine, square root of two is four. Close the bracket on that. When I tick this, it should say 13. And it does. So that's what that does, sum square. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use some of the sum functions to get some really cool results. So thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.